I need an adult. I need a fucking adult. I'm a fire in my labor. I need an adult. The fuck is going on here? I've lost control of the whole fucking thing. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm out. You're on your own. Fuck it. Don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. What's the matter? Did somebody hit you? Here. Let me help. I need an adult! And you? You're getting these alerts? I need a fucking adult! Easy here. It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, they said Hope made a lateral assumption. Could be Hope. You're not happy about it? No. Shit. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Come on. Well, shit. Oh, look at the camera over there, folks. What? Ow. Well, hi everybody. Welcome back to Outlast, the whistleblower. From that little coffee, uh, from that little thing right there, you could tell that the original email or paperwork the guy got that was in the cheap that started off with, this is him. This is the guy that started all the investigation. Uh oh, I believe there's people there. Nope, I'm not here. Park? They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. What are you doing in here anyway? I thought you were just a Wait, software. Wait, Park. Employee 1466. Report to Morphogenic Engine Monitoring immediately. Oh, we're in the lab. <laughs> we are in the biblioteca. Because I would like to bang you. In the biblioteca. We're not being given enough information to trust Wernicke's predictions. He's been right so far. I just want to know we're inventing something other uh -huh. than shiny new cancers. That's never good. I'm worried that the response is going to affect the company. You're Whaler Park, aren't you? Why weren't you answering the page? I'll tell them you're incoming. Well, fuck you, I'm busy. Are you just looking at my junk? Here. Here. Look at my junk. Okay. Out of my way, pretty boy. Guess we're going that way. Well, yeah, I had so much fun with the other Outlast that I was like, I want to do it. I didn't know if I wanted to spend the $9 on it, but I love the game so much, and I'm so looking forward to it coming, the Outlast 2 coming out in uh, fall.
this year. Can't wait. And you know we're going to do it. How about you? Going back to Leadville to pick up Jane, then we're headed out to the lake. That sounds all right. I didn't think I'd miss her this much. It's the patients. You start to realize they haven't seen a woman or a child in, shit, years now, right? How long's it been since you've seen Jane? Three weeks now? <sighs> That's nothing. You're serious? Sure. You got a girlfriend or somebody? I'm married. How long since you've seen her? Honestly, I'm not even sure. Oh. Well, absence you? makes... Christ, Waylon, hurry up. They're waiting on you. Well, fuck me, right? Ah, they're cutting it close. Next patient is coming in arterial spin, still dark. We need you at the front You're terminal. For fuck's sake. They've got Gluskin out of his cell. Page him again. We need this park guy in here now. Tell him he's got 15 seconds to keep his job. Okay. Park. Final. Where have you been? Functional imaging and faces and talking to the ASL. We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. I call into the chamber, ask them to delay. No. I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is gonna have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Uh-huh. Are we happy, Mr. Park? No. Uh, Steve? FMRI is still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. Fuck me, they're bringing him in. <laughs> Rate me? Help me! Don't let them do this! Don't let them! You! I know you can stop this! You have to help me! You have hey, to! Hey! Calm yourself! This is a high security... It's alright, Agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Take your seat. Yeah! Quickly, Mr. Park. We'll need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put them in the engine. Five seconds. Four. Three. Arterial spin labeling is back online. Good thing. Positioning imaging planes. Eddie You're finished, Mr. Whalen Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your performance. You're done here, Mr. Park. Thank you, and goodbye. You need to exit the room, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. My laptop's gonna be fucking gone, too, I bet. Oh, shit. How quick... Man, that almost killed me the last game. Fucking screwed myself over and shit. Can I come in? No. I did it again. Fuck. That's the problem with running everything in Windows, or in windowed view. We're like, why do you do that? Yeah, because. Somebody's been telling stories outside of class. On the floor! Whoops! Down! How do I can see him? Whoops! Mr. Whalen Park. Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. No. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid. In fact, that was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. Great. Oh, and uh, did I just hear Mr. Whalen Park volunteer for the Morphogenic Engine Program? Well, that's what I heard, Mr. Blair. Wow. That was brave indeed, Whalen. I am very passive. The Mercury Corporation <laughs> and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. 
Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. You're gonna fucking hit me. Great. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, that's not light. God damn. Welcome to Whistleblower. Here's a shot for you. How much you want to bet a lot of those people's last name or worked for the Clinton Foundation? Oh, that's so good. Oh, I'm seeing shit. Oh, I'm seeing shit. You hear that, don't you? I'm glad to know that Project Wallrider is... Yep, 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 come on, I want to record this shit. Where are you writing this stuff from? They would not give you a pencil. Well... <laughs> I'll open you up. I'll send you up and show you. Oh, are you gonna fuck me up? No. cameras. And it just so happens the camera I had is the same one that was already programmed into the game to give me. Yep. The fucking Matrix. God, that's so fun. I love this game. Didn't record enough of that, or what? I feel pretty. Oh, there is a door. Our peeping Tom, come to join our therapy session. Here, take the blade. Keep it around in our friend here. Get a little red on your hands. It's always healthy to express yourself. You keep it bottled up too long and you might do something you regret. No. You're one of those. You're too good for the likes of us. Think you're different? Something special? <laughs> there are no observers here. No. Now, 
Get the f*** out of here before I change my mind. Okay. Yep, getting out, no problem. I'm leaving! Oh, oh fuck you! Fuck go! Try to go. Come back here! God damn you people! I love it! I love it when I get scared, not really! Bad idea. We get out of here through reception, and then Merc Tactical will clean it up. If they get here in time, we need help now. If we get them on the radio, the National Guard could be here within- it. We don't even know the radio works. It's shortwave. If the prison's got electricity, they've got signal, and the lights are on. Merc Alpha is under control. Yeah, I noticed. We need to get to that radio. Outside help does not come without outside attention. You want responsibility for every legally shaky thing you did on the Murkoff Company payroll? I know I don't. No. Nope. It's too late to worry about that. This just has to stop. You're scared. You're not thinking straight. No. Nope. Let me make something clear. You try to radio outside for help. I'm gonna give you a whole new subgroup to be scared of. Are you threatening me? Yes. Well, at least he's very fucking upfront about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh shit! Oh motherfucker! There, go ahead. No? Okay, I'm just gonna close that now. That was awesome. Boy, my computer don't like the park. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, okay. I'm on the other side of it now. I say good day. Help me, please. I'm a doctor. I need to get hold of my. You're not security. I was. I'm a patient like you. Stole these clothes from a dead body I found. You gotta get me out of here. Please, just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. I don't know if I trust him or not. Sure. Doctor! No! 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 Doctor! Liar! No! 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 <laughs> ah! Well, let's see what we got going on here. No documents, but we got some notes. I don't know which one's the first one. I fucked up. Oh God, where am I? Hours could have passed, or weeks. Brain filled with static. They made me watch the, the engine. Have to get help. Have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die now, I know you'll find me. 
if uh, I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't. Exposes the truth. Lisa, baby. Lisa, baby. I'm so sorry. I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. There's radio in the prison. Shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm guessing Lisa might be some of type of a friend. <laughs> friend. <laughs> I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtlety. Uh, like you always said, I thought leaking information to a few journalists was safe was the safer way. Oh. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is dangerous. I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa, for the boys. Oh, there's kids involved. But I should have exposed what Murkoff was doing to the world. Uh, I should have... Oh, shouted. That's a crappy H. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. I cannot die. Not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken. Too dangerous. I've never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today. Murdered. And worse. I looked into a man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor. Then I saw then saw the rags they dressed me in and changed the story. He said he was a patient. Could have been either. They are all crazy. Ah! And sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading. What am I? I watched this man die and thought, it's not me, thank God. I know I'll die someday, but I do not want to be murdered. That's sound reasoning. I cannot argue with that. What I can argue with... No, fuck you. That's the exit. Well, a battery. Were you hiding a battery? That's very quiet. Ooh, documentation. I wonder what large, insanely, really hard words to pronounce there are in this one. Ah, the resignation of Wyland Park. That's me. Son of a bitch. Miss Grant, you may receive requests for information from uh, Mrs. Lisa Park of Leadville something something. In the coming weeks concerning of her of the resignation of her hospitalized and hospitalization of her husband Wayland. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Wayland Park, former consultant contract 8208, resigned due to previously undiagnosed mental illness. I personally visited Mrs. Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them with the silver lining that Murkoff Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Miss Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corp. I assured her that with the power of attorney, she could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be canceled and the family would be saddened with the not insignificant health care debts. Hopefully she understood. But if she insists on making nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, Please let me know personally. Well, if there was ever the definition of dick move, I'm guessing that would be it. Oh. Really? But it's outside. Kinda. Oh, I can go around it. Okay. Yeah. 
Fucker. Probably. Reload. Reloading the batteries. Am I going over the safety protocols? I sure am by Tunda. This sounds all very reasonable. That's that's wonderful. Oh, like there's anything in here. Oh yes there is. Oh boy, a vending machine. Boy, they fucked up some doctors. Oh boy! Batteries! Right off the bat! And who's going to scatter me now? Okay, well, first things first, I'm going to run around here, not that way, come on, come on, oh, okay, gotcha, I fucking reading you loud and clear. Sketchy shit going on here. Don't look at us. I love him. Maybe I want some! The body moving's a nice touch. That is... Well, this isn't scary or nothing. Oh. Why'd you... Make it fucking sound like there's somebody in here. What is that? A battery. Oh, come on now. I made it. I think it's safe. Can you 
you climb up? I'm coming, Cooper! I just have to lock the... There. I'm coming! Hold on! Oh, buddy. Success. In the cannibal's kitchen. Don't ask... Don't ask to see my body, Lisa. When I die, when you finish the lawsuits, that I pray... <laughs> Don't ask to see my body, Lisa. When I die, when you finish the lawsuits, that let you pray... I let you pry this footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers and corporate hitman. Don't make them show you my body. Just bury it or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looked at me and I see anger, a little desire, but more than anything, hunger. Please don't make me show them. You. Please don't make them show you my body. Well. Well, disturbing on a whole new level. Well, anyhow, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, welcome back again to Outlast, and let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section down below. And, uh, well, I'll see you all in the next video, because that's what we do every single day. All right, I love you all. Bye-bye.